What is up, Omis? Kinga here from Kinga Gorski Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna bring it down a little bit and really start to relax. The World Health Organization has said that sleep deprivation is now becoming an epidemic. So in an effort to help you live your most inspired, relaxed, rejuvenated life, I've incorporated a little sleepy time yoga sequence into today's video. If you struggle with an overactive monkey mind where your thoughts are just jumping from one to the other, especially when your head hits the pillow at night, this will be the perfect thing for you. Just a little gentle movement right before you go to sleep. Be sure to stay till the end of the video so you can grab my recipe for my favorite soothing tonic to drink before bed, golden milk. <laughs> Hey Omis, for our bedtime yoga sequence, I want to encourage you to close your eyes as we flow throughout the postures as much as it feels right to you throughout the practice. It really just allows you to feel the sensations that are going on inside the body and take away that sense of sight, really bringing the focus inward here and preparing us for sleep. Beginning here on your knees, interlacing the fingers behind you and begin to roll the shoulders just as far as you can go. Taking a few breaths here, connecting with the breath through the nostrils. And if you're quite tight in the shoulders, the chest, just allow any excess tension to leave with the exhale. releasing those arms, bringing them in front of you. We'll bring it into child's pose. Arms outstretched long, rest the forehead on the mat. Allow the hips to melt down toward the heels. Walking the heads back into the body nice and slow so we don't get lightheaded here. And the head comes up last. From here, find your way onto your seat. And you can stay facing the way that you are. I'm just going to come and turn toward you. Bending up the knees, placing the soles of the feet on the ground. Hands come in front of the kneecaps. We're going to take a little flow here. So on the inhale, opening up the knees, shining the heart, the chest forward. And on the exhale, pulling the belly button in toward the back, rounding the spine, tucking the chin. Inhale, shoulders relax, broaden the chest, the collarbones. And exhale. Pulling against those knees, feeling a nice stretch in the upper spine. And continuing on for a few extra rounds on your own rhythm of breath. And finishing off one more full cycle of breath. Inhale, followed by exhale. And coming back to neutral spine. Bending the knees down, coming into a yin style butterfly. Soles of the feet touch, creating a nice big diamond with the legs. Hands just rest on the knees and drop the side of the head down toward the right shoulder, stretching out that left side neck. And coming 
back to center, very gently guiding down toward your left side shoulder, stretching out that right side neck. Connecting to every inhale, exhale. And coming back to center. Left hand comes to right knee, right hand plants behind the spine, fingers point back. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown of the head and exhale to twist toward the back wall. Back forward to neutral. Right hand comes to left knee, left hand behind the spine. Inhale, tall through the spine. Exhale to twist back. and winding to center. From here, hands can stay on the knees, grab the ankles, whatever feels best to you. Gently tuck the chin and vertebra by vertebra, rolling down, allowing the crown of your head to lead the way, lengthening the back of the neck. And you can stay here with the arms, or if it's comfortable for you, you can bring the forearms and palms of the hands down underneath the calves. And beginning to gently vertebra by vertebra restack the spine moving nice and slowly head comes up last and once you get there just take a nice big shoulder roll down with the shoulders I'm gonna spin around to face you guys here or in the same position that you are bending up the knees and slowly engage the core as you lower your spine down toward the mat. Split the knees out to the side for recline butterfly here. Placing the arms wherever they're comfortable for you. Maybe on the thighs, the belly, crossed above the head. Bringing the soles of the feet to touch, heels close to the body here. Opening up through the hips, the pelvis. And bending up both knees, bringing them into chest, wrapping the arms over the knees. Just grab as far toward the elbows as you can. You can either hold here in stillness or gently rock side to side if you like, giving a little spinal massage. Taking full deep. Inhalations, exhalations, allowing the soothing sound of your breath to help relax you. And 
then releasing the arms to cactus. Elbows come to 90 degrees. Float your knees down to the right. And you take a spinal twist, close eyed gaze to the left. Keeping the shoulders grounded on the mat is more important than having the knees touch the ground. So it's totally fine and normal if your knees are floating up off the mat a little bit. Floating the knees over to come to the left. Gently guiding your twist and gaze to the right. Floating the knees back to center. Moving into legs up the wall pose. So the best way to get into this posture is to just shimmy your bottom close to a wall and then spin around so the legs float up. And just placing the arms again wherever you like them best, maybe on the belly or crossed above the head. This pose is also referred to as the great rejuvenator. So many health benefits to Viparita Karani. Just another few breaths in this posture. You can hold this for anywhere between one to 10 minutes, even 20 minutes if you're comfortable here. And gently bending in one knee at a time into chest. It's totally normal if your feet are a little tingly here. And gently rolling down toward the mat. Extending into our final Shavasana corpse pose. Arms and legs long down the mat, open palms. Feeling the natural rotation of the shoulders. Finding your stillness here. Bringing your palms together at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Thank you for joining me today in our practice, our bedtime sequence. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. Namaste. How easy and relaxing was that? Next time you're feeling restless, especially right before hitting the sheets, be sure to try out this sleepy sequence so you can snooze like a baby. What are some of your favorite ways or routines to fall asleep? You really can never have too much or too good quality of sleep, so be sure to leave me a message in the comments below. And don't forget to grab your free download, my favorite soothing, warming, sleepy time drink, golden milk. It's so easy to make and I'm sure you'll love it. It's delicious. Lastly, very exciting stuff. If you're into holistic wellness and health, which I'm sure you are because you're watching this right now, I would love to have you join our online community, my brand new Facebook group, The Live Inspired Mastermind. We're focusing on all things yoga, health, wellness, inspirational, motivational, positivity. We're keeping a high vibe. If that sounds like you, let the party start. I wanna see you in there and I will be sure to see you in the next video as well. Take care, homies.